I have a new motion decoy device called the Ducks Track, and we're going to do an unboxing and first look at it today. I'm Joel Strickland, and this is Surviving Duck Season. Thanks for watching Surviving Duck Season, where we feed your waterfowl obsession and help you to maximize your hunting experience. Now, I am a sucker for gadgets and gizmos and contraptions. In fact, I get made fun of a lot of times by my buddies about how many different things I try out to make duck hunting a little bit better. Some of it works, some of it doesn't, some of it's a pain and it's just not worth the hassle. But I found a product that I really wanted to try out. It's called the Ducks Track and it is a motion decoy device that makes ducks look like they're swimming around. So I reached out to the company and talked to Carl, the guy who invented the product. He was generous enough to send us a couple units to try out and share with you our experience. So let's go check them out right now. Here's how we put it together. We're gonna to take, and uh, this is the motor end. This is gonna unfold like this, okay? And then you lay this down here flat like that, and then line it up here, and then we'll screw this down. And that is literally all you have to do to put it together, and then we'll put the band on, just like this. <clears throat> And it's like, whoops, very, very simple. And that is literally all you have to do to put it together. Also in the box comes with three poles like this and three funky screws like this. And uh, what it's for is a deep water rig. So if, you, if you're hunting in like 30 or more inches of water, then you wanna use these. I'm not gonna put it together. I'll probably show you all on a different video how to use the deep water rig. All of my hunting is done pretty much in knee deep or less. A lot of my hunting is really shallow, about like that. Uh, so this is really gonna be great because I'll be able to hunt, you know, in just this much water. As long as this is under the water, then I can run the decoys on it and it'll look awesome. Uh, that's what Carl says. I'm looking forward to trying that part out. Most of the time our water is probably about, I'd say this deep to about that deep, usually about eight to, 14, 16 inches is pretty much about the way that most of our hunting is where we put our decoys. That's waterproof. Okay, and we'll connect these uh, two alligator clips to the battery, and then it starts it up. There's no uh, power switch or anything like that, so once you connect the battery, it is on. Uh, you wanna turn it off, you just gotta unplug it just like that. I've got a couple of pintail decoys that I'm gonna use for this. Uh, they're in a swimming slash feeder kind of position. I thought that it would look really, really cool by having them with that head down like they do when they swim a lot of times. So I got a drake and a hen. Uh, these, are, these are actually uh, GHG fully flocked pintails and they look really great. I gotta be real careful with them, but I figured that I've gotta be careful with this as well. So. I'm really anxious to uh, get this out on the water and try it on a hunt for the first time. I can just only imagine how awesome this is gonna look. But uh, what we'll do, we'll just put the decoys on just like this and then clamp that down. And then on the opposite side over there, I'll do the same thing. I've got two of the Ducks Tracks rigs out here. Um, I've got a, a basically a marine battery that I've got the cables hooked up to, as you can see right here. And I don't know how long it'll last. I mean, it's, it's been running all morning uh, today. It probably would last several hunts. And you can see I've chosen to use some uh, kind of skimmer, swimmer decoys. Uh, they look a little, little more lifelike when they're swimming around because that's kind of what a duck looks like when he's swimming through the water, kind of skimming off the top. I've got teal over here and then I've got some pintails right there. You know, they swim around 
this little track obviously I went ahead and put on the uh, deep water rigs but I didn't put the decoys on it just I think it makes it a little easier to be able to kind of find the edges when you get ready to pick it up off the off the bottom uh, but the, the motor end is is up here and uh, I'm gonna unplug it but you can see how easy it is I mean there's really nothing to it you just got to find a, a deep enough spot that's fairly flat but I've been pretty impressed with this because uh, there's not a lot of these types of products that you're able to use in really shallow water and and then they're so portable this thing I mean all you got to do unplug this deal and fold it up just like that and then you can walk right out with it just like that another thing that I really like about this product is it's super light easy to carry uh, and you know as far as going in on on the places that I hunt it'll be easy enough to put right here on top of this Ranger so I'm looking forward to really putting the product through its paces in the next few weeks and I'm gonna put another video out kind of telling you the good the bad and everything about it as the way I see it later in duck season if you're interested in finding out more about the product you can visit his website at duckstrack.com also leave a link in the description of this video now, I know many of you were wondering what happened to all the videos that were supposed to be coming out on our channel back in December. Well, I had some problems with my computers, uh, my main edited computer, the uh, display quit working, so I had to put it in the shop. And uh, because of the holidays and because of the COVID stuff, we're having trouble getting parts, so I had to wait for almost four weeks to get my computer working. And so I didn't have any way to do any editing. But I finally got the computer back about a week ago. I was able to start putting some videos together and kind of bring everybody back up to speed on uh, Arkansas duck hunting here and some other types of content. We're gonna be putting out some more videos in the coming weeks uh, of what some things that have happened in the last few weeks. Some really great duck and goose hunts. Uh, I've got a lot more uh, product reviews and things like that that we've we've shot and even some more that we're still going to shoot and bring to you uh, but before we go today uh, like we've been talking about every week we're doing giveaways we gave away lots of really cool products over the last uh, couple of months today I'm going to be giving away some surviving duck season merch I'm going to be giving away to one guy is going to get a surviving duck season shirt is a t-shirt right here it's survive 2020 uh, we've got these for sale on the website survivingduckseason.com uh, right here as well as one of these surviving duck season pullovers really great quality really one of my favorites to wear i wear that all the time while i'm hunting and a lot of you guys have been buying them up we only have a few left so if you're interested in buying one uh, make sure you go to the website we're running low on a few of our sizes all right, I almost forgot to tell you what you have to do to participate in today's giveaway. Okay, what I need you to do is let me know in the comment section of this video, tell me what's your favorite way to make motion in your decoys, motion devices or any other way that you get motion in your decoys. What's your favorite way to do that? Let me know in the comments and I'm gonna choose one winner within the first two days the first 48 hours of this video dropping I'm gonna choose a winner so make sure you do that also wanted to answer a question is a common question that I get uh, I'm a duck hunting guide during duck season at Cypress Crossing Duck Club uh, near Stuttgart Arkansas and a lot of you have asked well how can I come hunting with you there's always a link in the description of every video that has several of those types of things about uh, where you can find my social media, where we, you know, duck hunt, and, and a link to the website for Cypress Crossing. Uh, I also have a link to the merchandise if you're interested in buying products or any of the products that we talk specifically about on the video. They're always linked in the description of the video. So you can check that stuff out. But in the meantime, we have survivingduckseason.com when we also have cypresscrossingduckclub.com if you're interested in going duck hunting with us. Now we're booked solid for the season. So you'll have to, if you want to come duck hunting, it'll be next, uh, the next 21, 22 season. Uh, but make sure that you get on the schedule pretty soon because we pretty much stay booked up most of the time. Until the next video, I'm Joel Strickland. Good hunting and God bless.